Hey there, I'm out in Zion National Park and wanted to share some thoughts around a famous saying. And the famous saying is, I think, therefore I am. And I started looking at this and broke it out into three scenarios. Scenario one is psychologists say that 80% of our thoughts are negative. So if we look at it from that perspective, it's I think, therefore I am frustrated, angry, sad, upset, etc, etc. And if we group all that together, it would be, I think, therefore I am aging, because we know that negative thoughts create aging, right? And the second scenario is the 20%, which is where I think, therefore I am being really creative. I am helping the world with my creations and with my thoughts. Right? That's what we really master the thinking process. And obviously we want to get that to 100%. So 100% of our thoughts are going that way. And finally, it could also be written this way, which is, I don't think, therefore I am in joy. I am at ease with life. I am in oneness. And so as we master our thoughts, the, the, the quality and quantity of thoughts will change. The quantity will drop, the quality will go up, and then eventually there will be no thoughts. So hopefully this will be for you. Thanks, talk to you soon. See you. Goodbye.